Welcome back, everybody, to NSRA Gaming. We continue our playthrough of Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. I said I was going to try and play this thing all the way through. I plan to keep that promise. Been a long time since I've done an actual full game playthrough. And this game is actually a lot of fun. This is a really good game, a good storyline, and I really enjoy it a lot. So we just met up with Marcus inside the Victory Hotel. That whole little thing actually was uh, not too bad. Um, trying to remember where the fringe is. I think that's where we gotta go. And I think we gotta go back across this bridge here. Yeah, we gotta go back over on the other side of the square. But uh, we gotta go to the fringe because apparently we're gonna try and get some information and everything. So yeah, we are at least progressing in the game. Which is good to know. At least we're not really finding a whole lot of spots where it's just like... What do we do now? The camera angles are still wonky though. That does drive me a little bit crazy. Hi, you. did you get your Shakespearean actor thing yet? I told you to leave me the fuck alone, didn't I? Back off, sister, or I'll call in my dogs. Okay. I guess he's not very sociable. All right, so we're going back to the fringe apparently. No, we're going back here. We're not giving Marcus very much time. But all right, here we go. Yeah. Hi, it's Zoe Castillo again. May I come in? Of course. Wow. I guess we're friends with Charlie now. I like Charlie a lot. And he's in that photograph. Oh, we gotta show him the photograph. I just thought of that. We gotta show him the photograph. Okay. I get it. Now I know why we're going back to Charlie's. Okay. Charlie, buddy, I got stuff. Hey, you're back. Surprised? You look like you could take care of yourself, so no, not really. Did you find your friend Jericho? His name's Reza, and no, not yet. But I have a lead. Good, I hope you find him. He seemed like a nice guy. You haven't heard from Reza again, have you? Sorry, girl. If he calls, I'll let you know. Um, blah, blah. How long ago did you say you lived at the border house? Ten years. Why? It must have changed a lot. It was a horrible place. There was one room that looked okay, but the rest of it, ooh, just horrible. Ten years is a long time, girl. The world can change completely in a decade. Thank you, Charlie. For what? Listen, feel free to hang out here for as long as you want. Maybe your friend will stop by again. I like you, Charlie, but uh, we gotta talk about this. Could you tell me anything about this picture? That's you, isn't it? Jesus Christ, where did you find this? At the hotel, room 201. I found it in the closet and I figured you'd know. I mean, that is you, right? Ten years and a lifetime ago, yeah. I can't believe that Graf would still be in April's old room after all this time. April? April Ryan, the girl in the middle. 201, that was her room, 10 years ago. Oh, snap. Did... Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Why? That name sounds... very familiar. You probably got her mixed up with someone else. Uh, I know. April vanished back in 09, just days before the collapse. We spent a long time searching for her before we... before I gave up. Emma, on the other hand, she never lost faith. She still thinks April's alive and out there somewhere. Emma's the other girl in the picture. Yeah, they were the two best friends I've ever had. But I haven't heard from Emma in years, and, and April... Let's just say that I don't share Emma's faith in miracles. How did April disappear? Look, 
I'm not comfortable talking about this. It's private stuff. If we really need to know or not, uh, let's let's back off. I completely understand, Charlie. It must have been hard on you losing your best friend like that. I'm sort of going through the same thing myself, except except I still believe Reza's okay. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sure he's okay. From what I could tell, your friend's pretty smart and resourceful. Look, why are you so interested in April Ryan? This is gonna sound crazy. I can't even believe I'm telling you this, but... I've heard the name April Ryan recently. I've been seeing things on screens, back in Casablanca at, at the hotel. Strange, creepy things. At first, I figured it had something to do with the static. That might still be the case, but I think there's more to it than that. There's this snowy landscape, a strange black house, a girl. Oh, I know it sounds completely insane, but the girl, she speaks to me, directly to me, through the screen. Find her, save her. At first that was all she said, and then find April Ryan. Find April, save April. When I was inside that place, the hotel, I saw the girl again. She pointed the way to April's room, to the closet where I found the picture. Jesus. If you're right, if this isn't some kind of sick joke, I need to contact Emma. She still believes April was telling the truth. The truth? About what? Can you stick around, Zoe? I'm sure Emma will hop on the first vac tracks or scramjet out of Europolis, and she'll want to hear this from you. Once she gets here, We'll tell you the whole story. I promise. Charlie, the April Ryan I've heard of might not be your April. I don't want you to get your hopes up. April disappeared under some very strange circumstances, Zoe. If there's even a tiny chance that this has anything to do with her, we need to pursue it. Okay. I have to wait here for this guy to contact me anyway. Marcus. I met him at the hotel. Marcus? This is starting to sound like a damn family reunion. Marcus was a friend of ours back in the old days, until he got into Amethyst in a big way. Haven't seen him in years either, but I heard he got a job at the, uh, the hotel. Yeah, he's some kind of caretaker. And you're right, it's not a hotel. I saw something while I was there. They're testing some kind of device that hooks up to your head. I've seen it once before. It's probably what brought Reza to Newport. Anyway, Marcus said he'd help me find out what happened to Reza, for a price. I told him to meet me here later. I hope that's okay. No problem. This is the safest place in Newport. Nothing gets in or out without me knowing about it. I'll make sure his name's put on the guest list. I'm gonna go call Emma. And then I need to take care of some business, but you can just hang out here. I'll have the kitchen make you something to eat. That would be nice. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since the train. You come to the right place. Our sashimi's the best in town. Find yourself a table and I'll have someone take your order. Thank you. Wait, Charlie? Yeah? You really think Rez is okay? He's an investigative reporter, isn't he? Jericho's famous. I'm sure he's been in worse scrapes. Don't worry, he'll be okay.
and that's everything. I know it's not much, and I know it may not even be your April Ryan, but... It is. It has to be. I don't believe in coincidences, and this would be one enormous coincidence. Well, she could be trying to get in touch with us, Charlie. Maybe she needs our help. Maybe... Don't get your hopes up, Emma. We don't know anything yet. I'm sorry to ask, but... Charlie, you promised you'd tell me what happened to April. Yeah. Yeah, I did. She disappeared under some very strange circumstances. The day she vanished, corporates were after her. I still don't know why. They stormed the house and... Emma got shot. She almost didn't make it. As for April, she made it out. And that was the last we heard from her. But we know she got away. She was identified on security cameras uptown, and we found out later that she had boarded a shuttle to one of the orbiting stations. That's where the cookie crumb trail ends, however. Right after that, the collapse happened and everything changed. When things returned to normal, we were too busy putting our own lives back together. And by the time we started looking for her again... April was gone. Vanished. If it hadn't been for the things she'd told us, I would have simply believed that she was another victim of the collapse. What things? This is where it gets complicated. She spoke about another world, a sort of parallel magical dimension. We didn't believe. You didn't believe her, Charlie. I never doubted her. Fine. I didn't believe her. I'm still not sure I do, despite the things I saw during the collapse. Wait, April told you that she'd seen another dimension? Not seen. Been to. A place called Arcadia. There was this man. Cortez, a real weirdo. He told April that she had some kind of talent, power, to travel between worlds, and that she was needed. According to what April told us, there are two worlds. This one, and the other one, Arcadia. A world of magic. They exist in parallel, in balance with each other. I never had reason to doubt anything April said before, but even I was skeptical. So after I got out of the hospital, I started digging. And the things she told us. She's not the only one, Zoe. There are others who've traveled and seen Arcadia. It's real. Look, we don't know that. All we know is that some dangerous idiot put ideas into her head and... I know, Charlie. Have some faith, okay? I know, I can feel it. I've done a lot of research. When you have enough money, even the best kept secrets are revealed to you. I'm sorry, Emma, but it does sound a bit... Crazy, delusional. You don't think I've thought the same thing myself? How old were you when the collapse happened, Zoe? Nine, ten? Ten. And do you remember anything about it? Not really. We were living in London at the time, and our subsection was shut down for several days. My dad, he wanted to protect me. I didn't see much. Most people don't remember, or they pretend to have forgotten. Those of us who saw it, you don't forget something like that. But there were things happening even before the collapse. Strange things, like... like dreams leaking through into the waking world. Looking back, everything I've seen, read, what people have told me, people who had no reason to lie to me, I know she was telling the truth, and I believe she's still there. In Arcadia. Okay. Okay, so let's say you're right. The messages I've been getting. You think that winter place is the parallel world April talked about? Arcadia? From what I know, it doesn't sound like Arcadia. But who knows? The question is, who's the little girl, and why is she trying to contact you? After all, you didn't know April Ryan. Her name meant nothing to you until today. Chance brought you here, and if you hadn't found the picture and showed it to Charlie, you would never have recognized April's name. It seems improbable, I know, but Reza is the link. The story he's working on must have something to do with all of this. It's the only explanation I can think of. Your friend, the journalist, you still don't know where he is? No, but with any luck I might find out later tonight. Actually, Charlie, is there somewhere private where I can make a call? Maybe Reza's tried to contact me. 
I'm going to try his mobile again and check in with my friend Olivia back in Casablanca in case she's heard from him. Sure. You can use one of the private lounges upstairs. The last one on your left is empty. Thanks. I'll be right back. That was a lot of dialogue. Man. All right. Up we go. Last one on the left. Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Hi, it's me again. I'm in... I met Charlie and I followed your tracks to the hotel. I found your lighter and there was blood everywhere. I hope everything's okay, Reza. Please call me if you... when you get this message. I'm not about to give up on you, but I need to know that you're not... I need to know that you're okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh. Hey, you got yourself a VIP booth? Marcus, I was just about to... Convenient, because I brought some friends along, and they'd love to say hello. Oh. In private. What are you kidding me? Oh, well, that ain't good. That is a big problem. Visions. Find April. Save April. Wow! Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of uh, another episode of uh, NSR Gaming Dreamfall The Longest Journey. We are in Creepy Girl Land, and I guess we have to go to the house. I don't like this. Not at all. Now, why are we in our underwear? Snow is crunching. No! Find her. Save her. You must find her. You must save her. I don't understand. Please. What do you want with me? Find April Ryan. Hurry, Zoe. Hurry! But what do... You must hurry. Go. Now. for making me have a heart attack. Holy cow. Oh, I hate that little girl, the jump scare. And I do have the volume cranked up pretty loud here, folks, so that's why it startles me.
Where the hell am I? Okay, this is not real. This cannot be real. I need to... to I need to wake up. Or get out of here. I need to do something. Anything. I would guess that wheel is used to control the machine. Yeah, me too. I 
anything up there. What are those things? No. What about this? It's glowing like a torch, but there's no fire or heat. Something tells me we are going to need this. It looks like a machine with a big wheel and a socket on top. I wonder what it does, and if it still works. Okay, that goes on there. Broken. There's no way to climb up there. I sure hope that ladder leads out of this place. Me too. It's a long way up, but at least it's going up. That must be a good sign. Yeah, so can we just kind of go up it rather than look at it now? Please? It's a long way up. Oh, shut but up. But at least it's going up. That must be a good sign.
can't climb it back up. Alright, so apparently we gotta take the water wheel back up again. Are we able to do that with Glowy Egg in our hand? I shall name you Glowy, and you shall be mine. And you shall be my Glowy. It's a long way up, but at least it's going up. That must be a good sign. Okay, apparently that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Wait, Chloe A, can you do something with this? No. Well, doggone it. I don't understand. I really don't. Oh. Dog gun at game. Why is it you always decide to give me the controls afterwards? Just when I think I'm not making progress. Alright, anyway, up the ladder we go. Orchestra is very, very loud in my ears. Gonna have busted eardrums before this game is over, but can't help it. Game is so disproportionately epic. Oh boy. Well, this looks like a happy, fun place. This. A wooden wheel. What is this place? I must be dreaming. Um, I don't think so. This is real life. This is happening, Zoe. And there's apparently the only thing we can look at is the wooden wheel. Really? Alright. Guess we gotta go this way. It's locked from the outside. Oh. Okay, looks like we're going out this way. If we can find a way around. Um. Hello, 
squad there. Anybody gonna anybody have a chance of helping me out? 